I'm John P. Funk with the Cosmic Funk Studio, and we're going to talk about how to build a robot out of a box. As we see here, we have a full robot, life-size robot, made out of many boxes. But you do start with one box, and I can recommend going to your local grocery store and obtaining some boxes such as we have here. You can get three or four of these boxes to start with, and you'll need a good pair of scissors, uh, some Elmer's glue, and some spray paint. And if you have some old computer parts, that helps with the detail. So what we want to start with is, uh, you know, building the, the main assemblies of the robot. And you just start with your, your basic cardboard shapes. And you can build up, you know, from the feet up to the waist, or you could start in the upper body. As I'll demonstrate here, uh, to get this curve, shape to the head, we take a, a piece of cardboard and we're going to cut triangles and as we uh, cut these triangular shapes out we're creating a nice form that we can create a curved surface so we're able to get a compound curve out of a flat piece of cardboard. Then once we cut these pieces out and we start bending the cardboard you know we start getting the shape of like let's say the head that we have here and you know we'll need to finish it off by you know gluing it and and you know uh, affixing the detail pieces on top. Once we have that, we can hook this headpiece up to another flat piece of cardboard. We could stick it down inside of the neck here and start doing the finishing detailing. Also, you could take a piece of a Coke bottle, and we have it filled up with some plastic rocks with a little light bulb fit inside to make our little uh, dilithium cartridge chamber. You can also use like spare wires from old computer parts to dress out the detail. And as we have here, we have these little plugs that are just hot glued onto the body, hooked up to these little uh, circuit boards. You can also use any kind of tubing. We have a computer wire tu tubing here to, for, for our own detail, but you can use any kind of tubing. You could use plastic straws, anything like that. Uh, to, to make out your detail. And really, basically, pretty much the last thing is you just want to make sure that you have your, your pieces well taped together and glued um, because once you start putting the parts and the paint on the robot, it becomes a little heavy and you don't want it to fall apart on you. So there we go. There's our, our finished cardboard robot. And that's how you can build a robot out of a cardboard box.